No, I think I've made it, because, you know, I've always wanted, it's been a dream of mine, to perform in the escape tunnel of a speakeasy. <laughs> and, uh, I finally fucking made it, huh? Please take a picture and email it to my madre. She's gonna be proud of me. Uh, God, this is so weird, seeing yourself as you're telling jokes, that's really weird. Uh, it's kind of nuts, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Is that the is that the English dude from Lost? <laughs> I, to, so I get that all the time. So I guess dude, watch Lost. Just this side of the room. <laughs> I want to make everybody all right. I want to make everybody together. But these this is really I'm gonna lie to you. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been watching the show. These are the real laughers, and so we gotta really work with you guys over here. We gotta get, these guys are really pulling their weight here, but you, not so much. Not so much. I feel inclined to do this all night. I really do. It's my natural inclination. I don't want to. I don't want to. There's some beautiful faces here. I mean, I don't want to. But I feel like I, I feel like I want to do this. Let's uh, let's let's come together. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. Oh man, uh, I, I live in I live in Spanish Harlem. Yeah, I just want to get that out there. Yeah, all, all of this. Spanish Harlem. <laughs> yeah, this walking boy band that stands before you. I am in Spaha, as they call it. Isn't that nice, huh? Spaha. Yeah, they call it Spaha. It's a cute name. Yeah. You don't think that you can like show up with a towel and get a massage. It's called Spaha, right? <laughs> no. Do not show up in Spaha with a towel, ladies. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Pretty noisy neighborhood, I'm not going to lie to you. Last night, for instance. Oh my goodness. Very, very late. This is what I hear out my window. See you guys, see you guys, see you guys, see you guys, see you guys. See you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. And that's just the ice cream truck, really. I mean, that's just... Still got it! That's how you do it, sister. That's how you sling a joke. <laughs> So stupid. Not impressed. <laughs> Not impressed. Whatever. Whatever. I got the Dan Cook DVD. Eat me. <laughs> I was, I was uh, you, you like music, right? Yeah. yeah. I was watching uh, VH1. I saw I saw a, a music video for an R and B group. Yeah, like R and B soul singers. And I, I uh, all I could think about when I watched the video was. God damn it, man. R&B singers are perverts. <laughs> yeah, first of all, the band names, there was like a... Climax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Or uh, like G-Spot. Or uh, uh, Pregnancy Test Positive. Or something like that. It's like... It's a, it's a, it's a, it'll hit on anybody. It's right in the lyrics. I was watching the guy. I was like, on and on and on to the break of dawn. <laughs> With your mom. I was like, what in blazes? Part of my language. <laughs> Did you just say my mom? My dad is sitting right here, dude. We're not going to keep it on the down low. <laughs> no more. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna win you over. Win you over. Yeah. So I kept, I kept watching the video though. It's like whatever. I, I started to really enjoy it. There is a whole cast of characters in these R&B groups, huh? Isn't there? First of all, you get the dude that sounds like a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> like baby, I'm a man. Yeah, sure you are, dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Getting phone numbers at Chuck E. Cheese. I know that voice. I know that voice. That is not a man. <laughs> yeah. And then you got the dude uh, to offset him, the sexy breakdown guy. That's a dude with like uh, the deepest voice and biggest penis. Probably. Uh, yeah, this guy is great. He never really sings, he just kind of talks in the middle of the song. All deep. <laughs> and it's always like the same. It's always like. Baby. Oh, I gotta get a little deeper than that, hold on. Baby. I'm small, I'm small, huh? Baby. Oh, that, that, that. That's good, right? Baby, yeah. That kind of sounds like Beetlejuice, really, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Oh my god, it sounds like the Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can use that voice in another joke, probably. I haven't written it yet, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That was good, that was good. I like Kool Aid. I can talk about that. I like it. <laughs> the sexy breakdown voice guy, he always he always talks like that. He always says baby. And then he apologizes for something he did to his lady, right? He was like he's always like, um, baby, I am sorry. I didn't mean to draw up your cousin at the barbecue. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, baby. I swear, I wasn't at, I wasn't at uh, Applebee's on uh, Tuesday night with him. But then white chicks, I swear to God, I wasn't there. Uh, oh, baby, I'm sorry for taking our last Eggo waffle this morning. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I will let go your Eggo from now on, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Oh yeah, maple syrup on your navel, like I like it. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't know what came over me there. I just get into the bed. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love that sexy breakdown guy. He was <laughs> oh, did you? Oh. <laughs> I kept watching this video too. I thought to myself, this is what I thought. Um, Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, people. I was, I was, uh, I was smoking some weed and I was high. And uh, yeah, yeah, I was, uh, I was a little high. I'm very responsible about the way that I, I smoke weed only on weekends and uh, when I got jury duty. Because <laughs> let's face it, that shit is boring. But, yeah. So anyway, I analyzed things. I kept analyzing the video, and I, I, it's gotta be frustrating being in an R&B band. I'll tell you, because they were all good singers, these dudes. But they kept, kept interrupting one another during the course of the performance. That's going to really frustrate you as an artist, you know? One of the guys was breaking it down all nice, man. He was like... Yeah, I do sound effects, too. I never loved no one like you. The dude on his right was like... Never, 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 never. never. Uh, you want to wait your turn, asshole? God damn it. You do it every time, Freaky Freddy! Oh my god! And put a shirt on, will you? It's just us in the studio! What the fuck? God damn it, DJ Palacio, from the top! From the top! You like the DJ Palacio? I like that shit. Uh, and they, they always get a guy in an R&B band who is uh, uh, the super horny dude. You know? He's like the, the, the one group member, the member that, that is uh, an actual registered sex offender. <laughs> you can tell. He always hides, tries to hide behind cute lines, you know what I mean? Like during the verse, they'll be like, I want to do you at the school, would like some homework? <laughs> Don't be fooled, ladies. <laughs> Don't be fooled. Because then in the next verse, you'll hear him come out out of nowhere. Like, totally inappropriate. They're probably saying some romantic things, and then this guy will pop out with, I can make you wet Stupid. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I, just to, I just wanted to do my Chewbacca. There's a long way to go for that one. Chewbacca. 